Oh, hold on. I just noticed. My engine's got a debuff. What's wrong? What do you need? Short a spark plug. This is the third time. It's actually the third time. Not not this trip, but just in general. This is the third time. I told it. I'd be keeping an eye on this. And if it keeps up with the shenanigans... I think I've got... I think I've got a cursed turbo light engine. Okay, there are... Too many marsh eggs for me to ignore here. <laughs> Way too many. I have to. It's a lot of blow torches and stuff. Delicious. I wonder if I can vacuum up one of those jellies. What would it turn into? It looked like they could be vacuumed. Yikes. I think we got another one of those purple things that dropped in. I don't really want to go back for it, but that's a thing. They seem to be maybe a little more frequent out here. Can't be sure. I think the trouble is, is that it's like high quality stuff, but the high quality stuff I can't maintain and work with at all. So it's like, it's kind of cool, but it's also just like a, a temporary car part. I can already kind of make just about everything. So I'm not really sure what it would have that I can't already just get myself, you know? It's not like it's got unique hybrid resistance things. It's like, oh my god, you can only find those in that. Although, I don't know, maybe? It's like, it's right there. It's just, it's in a bit of the yellow storm. <laughs> I'm not going back for it. I'll give them another go if they're, like, kind of sort of close to me, just in case maybe there is unique stuff that only they've got. Easy. Oof. Too stable? Too corrupted energy. How the zone treat you this time? Oh, it's pretty okay. Those those bubblegum buddies though, man, those are those are terrible. I don't like them very much. But we got a lot of olives, which I didn't go there for. Uh a bit of the swamp coral though. Not nearly enough, but it's less that I have to get next time. Which, how are we looking for a next time? We've also opened up the route to get up there, which is kind of a great thing. Um, it's also in the mires and also opens up a route up there. It's also peaceful. E6 is also peaceful. All right. So hopefully this will get us enough material then. Hopefully. See, so, like, if I wanted to go to D1, right, like, I can't scan it, but I have to choose something so that the door opens. But when I leave, I think I can still choose D1. Right? It's so weird to me. It's such a weird disconnection between this screen and what you choose when you leave the map. It's so bizarre. I don't know why they have it so... awkward. <laughs> just, just awkward. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Man, can you scoot forward a little bit? Ah, oh, jeez. I wonder, this blowtorch has like nothing left to it, right? If I do a little more repair with it, we've lost it. But if I just trash it... get a lot of the materials back. <laughs> that's... That's a bit busted seeming. 
Okay. I always suspected, but I never actually did the proper check to see. You got 68 olives, 3 glass, 4 plastic, and 5 scrap for that. Whereas the blowtorch only needs... Uh, 80 eggs, 4 glass, 5 plastic, 6 scrap. We got most of that back. That's insane. That is straight up silly. There needs to be, like, depending on the condition of the thing, <laughs> before you trash it. Yikes. Oh, well, hey, there we go. That little torch only cost me, uh, basically nothing. And then, with that same logic, the thermal vacuum. And the plasma scrapper, and also the impact hammer. Screw it, I'll make a fresh of all of those. I don't care. That felt way less effective. Wah! <laughs> eh, pretty neat looking. That is not too bad. I think the car is fully repaired. Everything's cool and fine. Ah, yeah, fuel. Right. Refill it, then we can head out. Hopefully, get a lot more. Um, I always get the mix up swamp coral. That's the goal. How much do I need? Like 200 more, I think? Maybe 250. I think I only got like 100 if the. Uh... Oh, right. Also, uh, I head up here. These. I almost forgot again. The high tech steering wheel. Cowabunga. And the weird wagon decal, which I suppose we can throw up on, right? Like, how's that gonna look? Oh, okay. <coughs> mm. And it doesn't. <laughs> mm. And a dumpster pearl for my friendly dumpster. Unreliable, though. Oh, no. Kind of fun how they can have just any debuff. <laughs> I like the general theme of this of this game, where like really weird stuff can happen, and it's totally fine, absolutely okay, <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> Ugh, MREs, Ugh, gross. This is one of those food pearls, and uh, the Dragon's Tooth Ocarina. Sure. Heck yeah. Gotta take a look at some of this stuff anyway. What is that? Whoa! <laughs> we're, we're jumping the shark all the time now. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Dragon's Tooth Ocarina? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. High tech steering wheel, oh my god. That's like a little more what I expected the rally one to look like. I think the rest is kind of whatever. This wheel is outstanding. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, Dragon's Tooth Ocarina up there. Oh, the shark thingy. <laughs> uh, this car is perfect now. Well, almost perfect. It could be better. It's so messy. <laughs> it's just stuff. <laughs> Largely successful. We got a bit of unstable and stable energy, of course. Got a decent bit of fabrics. Oh, there you are. Here I was enjoying all that peace and quiet. I think I might have even gotten enough swamp moss and also some of the olives for anything that I'd be wanting to make. We did, however, lose a tire, an off-road tire burst, and the engine had a uh, spark plug issue again. So at some point, I think we gotta make a new engine. But we're kind of working on that anyway, so it works out well with the uh, arc engine and all that. Four 
Dumpster pearls, one of them is oxidized. Two of them are what? And one of them is peculiar. It's got a star. Typically star things don't give materials, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Boom. Oh, it works out, I guess. I accidentally pressed T. A go-kart steering wheel. What's that under there? The ice cream. Whoa. Here. Because I think the first thing that we had gotten from the... Uh, from all that, I, I think that was also uh, a star thing, right? The very first one? Maybe not. So steering wheel, ice cream, and a swag wagon sticker. Oh my god, our first sticker. Uh, uh, ice cream, yeah. Although I do like the horn a lot. And then a go-kart steering wheel. Mm, nah. nah, and I'm keeping the dragon tooth. I like it too much. Mm, the swag wagon. Yeah. Sure. It is in. Nice. Insulated panels aged. Everything inside is okay, though. Except the engine. Everything else is fine, though. Speaking of engine, do we actually have enough? Yeah, plenty. Excellent. So, good riddance to this crap thing. Which is actually weary. Apparently. What a dreadful life that thing. I barely had it, man. All it did is have poopy spark plugs. <laughs> that is it. So I don't need fuel anymore, right? We're, we're done with that because this is an electric engine. We've got... Uh, where do I store all this? We've got side battery, lightning rod, the limb shield, which I might need to be bringing with me here soon. Fuel and fuel. Yeah, another backseat battery. We got a side battery that we could have. I think I got the high capacity ones that I can make too. Was that right? I had to learn how to... Jesus, I had to learn how to make them. That's right. There's some metal plates and stuff for you. The liberators... If you're in a bind, pay a visit to the friendly dumpster out back. Oh my I god, fine. I what I need in there. Jeez. What do you think I need? <clears throat> Steel panel? Right, I mean, I don't... I don't need that, though, but thanks. I can manage, I'm pretty sure. A bunch of repair putty. Okay. Thank thank you, dumpster. <laughs> I feel like because she told me to look in there that it like gives you something maybe a little bit extra. Like something trigger that, so the game thought I was needing something, but like I'm pretty okay actually. Let's get a... let's go for a lead line panel, too. So the front of the car is pretty radiation resistant. Oh my god. <laughs> Looking pretty good. The back seats... Uh, I guess we can leave that in there for now. Look into researching the high capacity battery. And then the XL roof battery feels very odd. <laughs> I don't think I want that. I'd have to research a limb chip for it anyway. 
substantially more powerful extra battery satisfy your car's ever-growing energy needs with an even bigger box of jewels. Anchor energy converter. Anchor energy directly converted into battery power with at least a reasonable level of efficiency boosting the car's reserves substantially. 100 kilowatts per kalim. Yeah, nice. That's fun. I don't mind that too much. And then the ion shield. Yeah, to work our way over to the mobile workbench. Oh, well. Because I would like to have the mobile workbench just so we can make tier 2 stuff on the road. Because, like, I lost my tire. Because at first I touched acid and it just exploded. Uh, coincidence? I don't know. But... I had to make a limbium fragment. Ugh, gross. What? All right. Fine, forget about it then. Jeez. I had to make just a spare tire, and that felt pretty bad. Because it's like way, way tears behind. 10 carbon fiberglass, huh? For a true triumph in trunk technology, back of the automobile now comfortably contained in an entire British town, all its occupants, and their accents. I don't know, man. But 10 carbon fiberglass, all right. I'll... Do what I can. Ten carbon fiber gloss, though. Yeesh. I hope it's worth it. It kind of finishes off this tier, so. Well, not really tier, that entire category. Hey, you know what? What's what's the story with this one? Where's my lines? Uh <laughs> all right. Locks flat, locks blown out. It's looking pretty tempting. <laughs> it's getting to that point, but it's kind of bad at really most things. Like I'm quite happy to have just the uh, like the mix that I've got now with it kind of averaging out, we've got like a B plus road and like kind of A plus off road and just straight up A water. I kind of may as well go with all all terrain tires at this point. Looking like that's uh, kind of the way. If I can find a spike log anomaly, we can get the leak resistant battery. It blocks wet and charged statuses. The rest of that, we're not too sure on. Uh, doors and stuff is a little bit whatever. I'm honestly kind of sort of happy with my current setup. A devil grinder anomaly. Radiant dredge. Oh, okay. 2,000 durability flare. I, I assume they're just like way brighter, right? Whoops. Let's go. Ah, why are you like this? Let's go for it. I press spacebar because it's spacebar to confirm, but like based on where my mouse is, even though it should be tracking the screen because it hides the mouse. Uh, okay. There's a lot of oddities with the UI with like spacebar changes what it does based on where your mouse is, and I feel like it really shouldn't. Spacebar should just be what spacebar does. End of story. And that's going to be needing some of that Olympian stuff, so that's a bit out. But that gives us the bio flare gun. The bio lantern. The device just just about contains and harnesses Swamp Coral, the zone's strange flavor of bioluminescence. It isn't radioactive, it isn't corrosive, and it probably isn't even sentient. Probably. Sure. It was actually quite convenient looking for that stuff at the swamp at night, because yeah, it glows in the dark, all of it, so... It's actually a pretty sweet deal. High capacity battery for circuit boards? Sure. We'll pick up one of these. Just to maintain. 
the initial energy requirement and then two windy boys mixed with i don't know what a solar panel or something maybe how's that are we happy with that energy needs satisfied i would hope so The ion shield we don't actually want. The limb shield we already made. Second roof storage would be cool, but I want to go with the roof floodlights. Looks like I'll still have the coral for that too, which is incredible. Oops. Yeah, bio lantern, bio flare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can go with the proper roof lights. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> if I really need to see. It, it seems like so excessive and unnecessary. I'm also very curious just how pointless it is having it behind the <laughs> behind the roof storage. Will it just create a big shadow? Oh, it turns into behind. Oh. Oh, interesting. Wasn't expecting that. All right. I thought that I thought the roof storage would just be blocking it. <laughs> I would have been okay with it. So we just cast a massive shadow in front of us. Okay. Cool. Sure. Let's get that assigned to. I don't know. F, probably. For flashlights or floodlight. It works. God, does it ever work? <laughs> I forgot how incredible those were. Vacuum is just about dead. Make a new one of those. And then I think we're okay to head out. Liberator, first aid, canned food or two. Pry bar, hammer. Yeah, it's, it's all looking fine. It's the backseat fuel tank and all that, which we don't need because we're rocking electric, boy! Which is even a uh, faster engine. Even faster. A big boy battery in the back. Uh, ah, yeah, that's the one with kind of a normal battery on the side. Yeah. How we doing route-wise? We set? We good? 3k limb for a gateway, it's very safe there. Incredible. How are we getting there? Heavy fog, some things are moving. Okay. Battery sapping, anchor obfuscation. Some things moving, swift storm, eerie darkness. Uh, that sounds good. Angry abductors, cross of downpour, swift storm. Yeah, that, that all sounds really, really fun. And it's also something moving over here. Is this something moving? What is this? Why is this? I guess we're taking a look at E6 and getting up some energy into C4, maybe stealing an energy from the research outpost there. And then up into Old Wall, which has got a rock and a... And a four-star icon on it. I don't know what biome that means. Is that just like the wall icon? No. I have no idea. I guess we'll find out. 3k them? Alright, 3k them. It is also perpetually safe up there, though. Uh, so we can probably get all the energy we need up there. Yeah, it's also corrupt energy, too. Just in case you hadn't gotten corrupt energy yet. Then there you go. There's a ton of energy up here. So, yeah, a little bit of E6 energy getting. Blast through C4 ASAP into the wall. Quick, easy, simple. Let's see how regrettable our decision is going with an electric engine. Yeah. I'm not sure if the car actually shifted through gears before, but... And I'm pretty sure it isn't now, which is a pretty nice little detail with the electric engine. 
I did notice next to the fuel gauge there, you see like the consumption thing raise up a bit. Ignore the MPH, that's just going wild as I turn the wheel. Um, but like, the fuel gauge there just on the left of it, you see... It just, it spikes up depending on fuel consumption. I thought for a second like, oh no, this is actually consuming fuel still. That's awkward. Uh, it's not. That seems to just be relating generally to, like... I guess in my case now, battery consumption, or so. Not actually adjusting fuel. I did stop by the, uh, there's a gas station at the start of this map. Pretty handy. I did fill up the side tanks there then, and... And also fill up the car just to be safe. Turned out to be unnecessary, though, because we're still sitting at full. We do drain battery, like, a lot, though, while we're starting to accelerate from a dead stop. <laughs> uh, that consumes a lot. Because the little turbines aren't yet going, and that also consumes maximum amount of fuel anyway. I don't know what something's moving is. I never discovered that. Um, seems to definitely have something creeping out there amongst the trees. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see anything. <laughs> I was there for... I was there for a little bit, and didn't notice anything, so I, I don't know, maybe just a, maybe just a chance, maybe there's more Bigfoot incidents with, like, garbage being thrown at you when you pull over, I don't know. C4, we're just gonna go through as quickly as possible. We don't have a whole lot for acid resistance, but I really don't want to be hit by the rain that's gonna be everywhere. It's gonna be like an 80% of the map is one big storm type thing, I bet. But it was last time. Yeah, that's what it is this time, too. So we're heading... Take a left and follow that down. Okay. Yeah, you can see our our power just plummet there down to 114 now, but then as we start moving, it starts to even go up after a certain speed. It's like, as we cross 50, 60 or so, it starts going up. So the two turbines definitely helps mitigate fuel consumption, but we still clearly have a bit of a net loss. Ooh, corrosive squall. It's so icky. Uh, it's also just raining globs. Oh, this is horrible. They get me out of here. Wah. <laughs> Um, still a net loss, though, in energy using this thing, so we'll have to beef it up a little bit, especially for it to be traveling at night. We'd be in some pretty significant trouble, because even though the solar panel wouldn't be going. So we'll be wanting... I don't know if we want more turbines, or what? Are we out of it? Okay, good. Of course, a tire one. I swear, like, any time I touch acid, some tire throws a foot. Every time. Almost without fail. Thankfully, ceiling kits. Oh, I don't have a ceiling kit. Wait, why did I not bring a ceiling kit? I have no idea. I definitely don't have the materials to make a ceiling kit, because I really don't have anything here. Missing three rubber. No, like, crash cars anywhere, is there? Yeah, I think there is one back there. We'll have to fix it in the next zone. Worst case, I still, I, I still do have the spare tire on me. Nasty. Nasty zone. 